sin of prostrating from you. Strength is where we we better stuff like we're talking about. You know the fire mind is of our mind. You know we're but heal my flesh. Strengthen us inwardly and let our word go forward. Know that it will not return home. We ask it in the name of Jesus. The mighty marvelous man shall stand in the same mercy of the name of Jesus. And we do pray. Amen. 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 We honor God, the Father, God, the Son, God, and the Holy Spirit. To have the preach ministry here in the symbol, Dr. Red Soul Pastor Harris, and the others to this assembled body to our deacons and deaconess, our medical and music ministries, our youth. We're just humbled to be able to stand behind the sacred things. Declare that the wages of sin is still dead. But the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Amen. Anybody that thinks the preacher don't get caught up sometimes. Uh, you just don't understand. Right, right. Pastor Chapman served as my unofficial associate minister before we had an associate. Uh, he would preach for us when I had to go out of town. He would come and, and, and handle service, and I didn't have to worry that that would be a new master only when I got back to town. Just family. Of course, you know, Pastor Parks uh, has served, uh, helped us along the way. He's known that he gets us to make a pride and known for that signature song, Strong Believers. And so we, uh, we are thankful for their lives. We are thankful for the legacy that these two gentlemen leave. Uh, of course, the human part of us will miss them, but the spiritual part of understanding that can be absent from the body and the present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Joshua chapter 7. Joshua chapter 7. And during the time of Bible study, private Bible study, I would that you would read that entire seventh chapter. I want to start at verse 6 and read a few. Uh, in verse 6, it kind of captures my attention every time I read this about how Joshua acts and what the Lord finally has to just tell him about. Uh, verse 6 says that Joshua tore away his clothes and fell up to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the evening time. He and the elders of Israel and put dust upon their hands. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore hath thou and all brought this people over joy to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us? Would to God we had been content and dwell on the other side of joy. O oh Lord, this is Joshua talking, what shall I say when Israel turned their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall heal it and shall invite all of us around and cut off our name from the earth. What will thou do unto thy great name? And the Lord, verse 10, and the Lord said unto Joshua, Get up, wherefore lie thou thus upon thy face. Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded thee. But they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen and dissembled the also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. This is God talking. 
Neither will I be with you anymore. Except you destroy the curse from the mind. Few minutes, I want to talk about hindrances to victory. Hindrances to victory. I don't know if you know it, but I want to let you know that we have warfare. On several levels, personally, individually, we are fighting a war every day. Corporately, as a church family, we are in a warfare. And even nationally, we are fighting in a war. Not only are we fighting medically, dealing with the pandemic, we're, we're fighting now politically, and we are more divided almost than we were before the Civil War. We are fighting a warfare. We're, we're, we're fighting uh, uh, with other nations. We're, we're, we're fighting now about how we left Afghanistan and, and, and who, uh, who left over there. It's just a turbulent warfare going on. And we're fighting not only physically, boots on the ground and all that kind of stuff, but we are at our very best. We're fighting mentally. Uh, I've I been reading the statistics about more children are depressed, more young folks are killing themselves, suicide rate is up. We're fighting a mental battle. We're fighting a spiritual battle. We are, we're fussing about uh, whether we should come to church, whether we should stay at home. We're, we're, we're fighting about this denomination and that denomination. And I say it all the time, folks are dying every day going to hell and we are worried about who are the preachers, who are not preachers. We're fighting a warfare.
from victory. We got no money. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we got so much money in the pandemic, we don't want to work. We ain't gonna work. We got to make a building. We got better conveniences. We got more resources. We got more technology. I was bragging in the fourth of Jesus and they said, my pastor, you still got money on flip phone? I said, yes, but food around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jericho came down. God gave them instructions that when a city was defeated, they would have totally destroy everything within that city and not to take anything out of the city because it was a curse. But the children of Israel committed a trust act. 18. Uh, oh, the son of Carmine, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zabar of the tribe of Judah took the accursed thing. Uh -huh. And the Bible says the anger of the Lord yeah. was kindled against the children of Israel. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. The Bible says the Lord is with you. He's more than the world against you. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to let you know he's against you and nobody can hear Oh, my God. 
When the talk you talk is contrary to God, you have taken and stolen in your way. If not God's way, you have taken and stolen. When your testimony is hindered by the things you do, you have taken and stolen. I found out. I found out why sometimes we don't want to go out in the community and testify. Because you destroy, until you destroy. 
destroy the cursed thing from the mind. All this stuff is going on. We turn. Can you turn? I've never looked. Can you turn a mask into a political body? But if I become a fan and you wear a mask, you're a Democrat. You don't you Republican.
Get it from him. I'm on him. And he said, Ain't I a big witch? I hate to bust your ball. Some of us have made stuff such an accursed thing that we're going to have to get rid of some stuff. Huh? Sometimes you wonder why you lost that good job. It had become an accursed thing. Huh? Sometimes you wonder why that daughter ran off with that rascal that you said it wasn't no good because you had made her an accursed thing. to me. 